Hi my friends from YouTube. I'd like to show you how to make a plasma using just a simple light bulb and nothing else. As you can see this is just a ordinary 60 watt light bulb. There's a filament in there shaking when I move it so that's proof that it's just a light bulb, nothing special, nothing ordinary. As you can see the bottom of the neck of the see the filament button has been isolated to prevent the high voltage arcing to the transformer spin the circuit board that I made it my handmade spin the circuit board using the, uh, the copper board to cut the piece that you need it as you can see it's one side copper board and uh, I use some rub on each, each resist. It's the uh, stuff to use to make. Instead of the uh, using the uh, marker, you know, I use this stuff, so it looks nicely. Anyway, to make the plasma and uh, using just a regular light bulb, you cannot use the flyback. You can, but you're not gonna get results that you're gonna be happy with it. And that's why I see some posts out there and comments and this and that say so you can't use the white bulb. Yes, you can, but you have to stay away from the flyback. The reason why the flyback it give, doesn't give you the AC high voltage. What you got from the flyback, it's DC high voltage and very low current. I mean, very low, not high enough for the project like this. Why I'm saying this is the DC because this part here in my hand it's called the second anode lead. I used to repair the televisions, television sets, and I know that this what's it called this goes to the back of the picture tube. It's snapped in there and it's called second anode lead. Anode by itself tells you that it's positive. And as well in inside the flyback, like this guy here for example this tube here, they mount the high voltage, super high speed diodes in a stereo, there's five, six of them, and uh, they actually giving you DC, not the, uh, not the AC, that's why there's a misunderstanding why it's not working, or even if it's done, it's just kind of arcing inside the bulb and stuff, so even if you try to use the uh, flyback and putting your external primary here, you didn't do nothing because still you're gonna get DC here. That's why it's called second anode lead. And anode it's a uh, back of the picture tube. The neck it's cathode, that's why said that's why they they call a cathode cathode tube, you know. It's a cathode and the neck it's negative and uh, this is a positive. So fly back, stay away. To make the transformer, high voltage transformer this is my handmade transformer, it doesn't look nice, it looks ugly, I agree, but who cares, it's not for sale. It's me doing as a hobby. To make it like that, ferrite core you're gonna find in the old microwaves. Actually the new ones they are using now, it's the uh, Cal power inverter. Ferrite core is taken from this guy, it just popped out and once it's taken out you can see it that's what you got transformer primary has the 25 turns of the AVG 18th and it's on the bottom the secondary it's above has 650 turns of the AVG 24 driver it's usual 555 you got 78 15 volt regulator and the uh, MOSFET now I want to show you how that all together works. If you don't mind, I'm just going to put it here for a second. I'm going to turn off the light so we have better vision. Okay, transformer is just the main transformer 15 volt AC, 3 to 4 amp current, and we're going to plug this guy into the power. It's just and there we go. In 
reaction. Nice little strikes. And as you can see, it looks like a s little snakes trying to find a hole to get out of there. And it's very quiet. Very, very quiet. I like it. And here just a little buzzing from the high frequency. And this is top view. It's just beautiful. And as I said, yes, this is just ordinary light bulb. Okay, there we go my friends, if you have questions, if you need a circuit diagram, if you need more details, by all means email me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as the times, as soon as I got some free time. And don't forget, don't use a flyback if you want to make something like this, TV flyback, it's gonna, not going to help you. It's a DC voltage that you got out of there and you need AC in order to get a plasma or something like this. Again, thanks for watching and any details, please let me know. Be safe guys. Thanks.